Chang E6 will be the first near moon breaking Pakistan cubic star separation into a 200 km times 8600 km orbit. The successful launch of Chang E6 marked another solid step forward for China's aerospace industry. In this mission, China not only independently shouldered the important task of lunar landing sampling, but also joined hands with the four countries to jointly carry their lunar exploration equipment and jointly embarked on an in-depth exploration of the moon. It is true that the United States seemed to show a hint of a jealousy when the mission was launched. The administrator of NASA bluntly stated in public that he was deeply confused as to why China chose to explore the far side of the moon. He further mentioned that the far side of the moon has been in shadow for a long time, this statement is not accurate, and the United States has no intention of setting foot there. The sensitive media in the United States are saying that the Chang'e 6 mission is one of China's most complex lunar exploration missions to date. The Chang'e 6 probe was launched by the Long March 5th Yao-8 carrier rocket from the Wenchang Space Launch Site in China. Space fans gathered to witness this historic moment. After China's Chang'e 6 takes off, the first mission is about to begin. In this video, let us learn more about it. Yes, from the time note of the launch of Chang E6, after the launch of China's 5.3 period mission, after more than 2,000 seconds of flight, Chang E6 was sent into the scheduled orbit, completed the separation of the stars and arrows, and Chang E6 entered the official rush to the moon. And the whole journey to the moon will take about five days, so that is in 5.8 time, China will reach the moon. Just before it reached the moon, Chang E6 had to step on the brake to be captured by the moon and enter an orbit around the moon. Therefore, at this time, China will carry out the first lunar break. So what is lunar braking? Lunar braking is actually one of the key orbital controls during lunar probe flight. When a satellite or probe flies near the moon, its velocity relative to the moon is greater than the moon's escape velocity of 2.38 km per second. If it does not slow down, the satellite or probe will fly away from the moon. To achieve the goal of orbiting the moon, Chinese engineers had to apply braking measures. That is, appropriate deceleration to ensure that the flight speed drops below the moon's escape velocity and then is firmly attracted by the moon's gravity to achieve a stable orbit around the moon. After being captured by the moon, it must be entering the circumlunar phase. So, this time, the lunar break is very critical. How hard is it? Certainly the difficulty is not low, the difficulty and the key is precision. Because the control amount and braking amount are small, the probe will pass by the moon and fly away from the moon, and it will not be able to form such a lunar orbit, and it will not be captured by the moon. If the brake exceeds the safe limit, the probe could accidentally encounter the moon. As a result, there would be no follow-up mission planned, let alone a vision of a lunar orbit. Therefore, in the course of carrying out the Chang E6 mission, China must ensure full preparation and take necessary measures in advance to ensure a smooth mission to the moon. This requires Chinese engineers not only to improve on the technical level, but also to do a thorough deployment and planning in all aspects to ensure the successful implementation of the mission. When the acquisition mission was successfully completed, China's Chang E6 probe entered the lunar circle phase and then began the elaborate landing process. The process will take about 20 days, during which time Chang E6 will carefully position itself in preparation for the final moon landing. It is worth mentioning that because the landing point is located on the far side of the moon, this adjustment is not only to ensure the accuracy of the moon, 
but also an important verification of China's Keqiao No. 2 communication technology, showing China's excellent strength in the field of deep space exploration. So, while some may find the process a bit lengthy, this short time delay seems insignificant when we consider the ultimate grand goal the crucial part of sampling return. Chinese engineers are full of expectations for Chang E6 to make steady progress, step by step towards success. However, with the completion of the first successful lunar break mission, China is expected to open a new chapter of international cooperation and jointly open a new space journey. Indeed, the Chang E6 mission is not only of great significance to China, but also has achieved remarkable results in terms of international cooperation. It carries advanced scientific instruments from different countries. Among them, the radon detector of France, the negative ion detector of the European Space Agency, the laser angle mirror of Italy and the cubic magnitude payload and satellite project of Pakistan are prominent in the list, showing China's extensive cooperation and excellent strength in the space field. After the first successful lunar braking, SJTU CUN2 and Pakistan's iCube Q cube will be released to an orbital area of 200 km times 8600 km. Although the satellite itself weighs only 6.5 kg, the total weight of various equipment on board is 9 kg. After separation, it will shoulder the important mission of lunar imaging and continue to capture and return precious data of the Moon and the Earth and the Moon. In this process, the CUN2 satellite will carry out a series of experiments including the use of its miniature camera to obtain detailed images of the lunar surface, the intelligent processing of image data in orbit, the verification of new technologies such as nanosatel-based deep space lunar-to-Earth communication, and fully explore low-cost deep space exploration modes based on micro- and nano-satellites. Therefore, the role of the satellite is still large. Of course, when the satellite is released, it may also give China a picture of some changes in the course of Chang E6. That is, the two 1280 by 720 pixel cameras carried by the satellite will probably try to shoot the separation video with Chang E6, as well as two or three of the three targets of Chang E6, the Moon, and the Earth in the same frame, which is bound to be very much expected. So, a near-moon break is coming, and China's Chang E6 spacecraft will show you the technology. After this step, Chang E6 will break again into an altitude of about 200 km times 2 200 km, and a third time break again into 200 km times 200 km, after which is the challenge landing and so on. You see that? It's more complicated than you think, so that's what it looks like. For landing on the back of the moon, the difficulty is certainly not low. To put it simply, on the far side of the moon, the detector cannot communicate directly with the Earth, and must use a relay star. Especially during the descent process, the lander cannot communicate directly with the ground and can only operate through the relay star Keqiao. All information transmission needs to be completed through the Magpie Bridge, which undoubtedly greatly increases the risk of the moon landing mission. Because the transmission process requires time, whether it is calculated in seconds or in other ways, it must be accurate. Once there is a problem with this time difference, the position to which the detector may have descended will be fuzzy. There is no doubt that China has already made achievements in the field of data transmission during the Chang'e 4 mission. To ensure that data is transmitted to the lander accurately, Chinese engineers pre-send the data that needs to be injected into the lander's computer to its internal staging area. These data packets are accompanied by a time tag. 
When the time on the lander exactly matches the tag, the data will be automatically injected. The application of this technological reserve has undoubtedly laid a solid foundation for China's development in the field of data transmission. Then the landing requirements are met, and this mode is like setting a timer. Therefore, we don't know whether the same method was used on Chang'e 6, but it is obviously a difficult landing process. Everyone should know that many countries have failed on the front side of the moon. Think about it, not everyone can do it on the back side. Therefore, we very much look forward to the complete success of the Chang'e 6 mission. Although the challenges are great, we believe that China's technological reserves will be able to do so, and everyone will wait and see. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.